All right, good morning. We're at Catalina Island, and we were gonna go bass fishing today, but the yellowtail fishing is just stupid right now. Um, kind of a testament to the offshore uh, offshore season. These guys are all pulling on fish here. And uh, we don't have any live squid, which most of these guys do have. What we do have is some fresh dead, courtesy of my buddy on the Mojo in their lance. Uh, he runs a trotter operation, uh, fishing office trotters out of Avalon. Bedded and squid. Fresh dead. Let's see if we can catch a couple yells before we go catch some calico bass. Not the biggest fish in the world. We're talking really, I mean, only five to ten pound fish, but they're fun. Fun on light tackle. Fresh patty drop offs. Oh, I bet right now. Oh, there's one. We've been catching so many good offshore fish. Get in the water, Will. Watch your rod. You know, and, and here's another thing, you know, this light tackle, this is bass tackle, this is all this is, it's straight bass tackle. And it's kind of fun to be able to come out here and just catch them on stuff that's not overkill for these lighter fish. Alright, go under me. If you get bit, that'll be for a few seconds. Put it here. Should be a pretty quick fight. They're all under the boat, you can see the meter there is just loaded with them. They're eating the fresh frozen deer, you know, you know it's good fishing. There he is. Beautiful yellow tail. Uh, Alright. There's a yellow tail. This is a California yellow tail. One of uh kind of the more prized fish that we capture for coast here. Fabulous model. Again, these are only kind of eight pound class fish, but they fight great. They do taste great, but we're gonna let this beauty go. Oh, and he's bit. Tons of fish on the boat. Loop it through a little bit. You know, fishing a lead head and squid's a great way to cover the entire column. A lot of people fish dropper loops, and I'm sure it'll get bit fantastic right now. Sliding sinker rigs, all that stuff gets bit, but you know, having a having a lead head and squid gives you a lot of versatility, and it's also a really kind of a fine presentation. It, it blends in with the squid really, really well. Uh, the fish can or the bait can swim really well with it. Oh my god, I'm bit already. Ready for a sec. There we go. Ah, we're fishing yellows. Oh. <laughs> God, I love it, man. What a great 2014 year. They sound El Nino. I just say it's great fishing. I don't care what they're gonna call it. Tons of fish. Uh oh, we have a dog. This is his cousin's tackle, 7119P. It's a swim bait rod, but I found it to be really perfect for fishing that end squid and fishing a lot of bait applications as well as our applications here in the salt. A little softer than a lot of the traditional fast action rods because this is making right now. The 799, 799LT, even the 808H in the Ray series. Really absorbs the fish well. Great kelp cutter rig. Putting a lot of pressure on this fish and probably not going to pull the hook on them. So. Just got a little Nexa 400 here, bass reel. Right 
short bump them up. Hands right there. Uh oh. Just wait on it. Uh -oh. Well, apparently the seal got to him a little bit already, which means we're taking this one home for dinner. Something got him. I don't know if that's the seal. That could have just been the line or something else. That was probably a seal right at the boat. <laughs> no meal for him. Tail. On the swim bait, little viejos here. Ooh. Absolutely gorgeous fish. God, I love yellowtail. Such a beautiful fish. Such a prime specimen. Such a great game fish. I'm gonna let her go. Ugh. That's what it's all about, right there. Good morning, Catalina. Today is going to be, can we get through the yellowtail to, uh, to catch ourselves some calico bass? I'm complaining. Yeah, that's right. I am complaining about yellowtail. I never thought I'd do that. Pushing bait in here real fast. You now, fishing this stuff, there's only really three different tools that we need. We need a big weed to swim bait, a small weed to swim bait, and a surface iron. There's guys who throw various hard baits, lucky crafts in the store, you know, and we do that occasionally. It can be a lot of fun. They always say fish what you're confident in. And right now confidence for us is we this bait and surface iron. And I think when you're fishing like that, you, you accept a few things. First of all, you're not gonna get as many bites as you would if you're throwing a, a smaller lucky craft or a smaller traditional lead-headed swim bait. And you're also not gonna hook as many of the fish, especially with the big weed this baits. There'll be a lot of instances where, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna miss the fish because it's gonna be a two pounder and it's gonna eat it behind, uh, behind the hook. And you know, you're fishing a big 10-0 hook, so not always gonna get good penetration. But the right fish, those five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 pound plus calico bass have no problem wolfing down a nine or 10 inch weedless bait. Absolutely no problem at all. And you know, that's a, a lot of the reason why we get so many big bass is because we're willing to sacrifice bites for quality. We'll, we'll, we'll take less bites. We'll miss more fish. Oh, oh, there's one right there. That might be, oh, no, I don't know. Oh, it's a nice bass. Beautiful bass. Look at that one. Nice. Like I was saying, we are willing to sacrifice the bites for the quality, and there's a beautiful, beautiful calico on the jig right here. Tatty 45. Fabulous. This has been a great jig color this year. Pieces of the puzzle. A lot of life in here. Bait pushing around. Great water color. Little off color, I like that off color water. I don't like fishing gin clear water for Calca Bass. All right. Setup we have here, Lexa 400. We've got a Cousins Rays 400 or 909T, 909T Rays. You know, we built the Rays series for this fishery. We've been working, uh, myself and, and Will here and a few of the other Cousins Pro staffers, basically we're on the forefront of designing these rods for this fishery, for the Southern California inshore fishery. You know, we built a rod that's priced to sell to everybody. You know, we want everybody to have the opportunity to fish these rods, but we didn't skip on the componentry. Uh, Fuji guides all the way up, Fuji components all the way down. And the best part about it is the blank and everything on it is made here in America. So we wrap, uh, wrap the rod in our facility in Huntington Beach, the blank spun in our facility in Huntington Beach. The rod's tested here in Southern California water, so we want to go out and and make a tweak to the rod or change the action a little bit. It's, it's basically, okay, hey, do this. Here's the prototype. We go catch fish and we say, yeah, it works. Or, hey, change it a little bit and make it better this way, make it a little lighter, make it a little heavier. That's why on this boat right now, we, we have a full set of raised rods that have all basically been designed for what we do. You know, surface arm with the 909, 
We have an 808H, which uh, I basically went to them and said, hey, let's, let's take this rod and let's give a little more, more backbone to fish these big swim baits. And well, there's the 808H. We have the 799LT, which is uh, similar to the 799 from the SSW uh, line of Cousins rods, but it's a little bit lighter on the tip. So when a fish eats these weedless baits, you get a little bit of load on it. You can basically drive the hook home. We also have, uh, what do we got? 798, uh, 7.9, a little bit of a shorter rod, which is great for throwing like the MC weed this, smaller big poncho grumpy faces, smaller LKs, and uh, we've got a few other rods that we fish, but those are the main ones. That's what's in our rack here on the Ranger. Oh, big one. Oh, got him. Oh, that's a better one. A nice brown one. on this guy. You are a fine specimen. A fine specimen. It's not meant to be. It's just not meant to be. Oh, it is meant to be. It is meant to be. It is meant to be. Dos for dos. Another beautiful bass. I love you, you're a fine specimen. Now continue wreaking havoc on your kelp home. I'm starting to fish on this outgoing tide. Yeah, it's definitely this tide. Oh, right there, that's a good one. Oh, nice one, nice one. Beautiful fish. Nice one. A little weedless, rolling it right over the laid down kelp, right at the boat. Let's get another one. There's a long kelp on it. I'm killing it. A lot of kelp. Bumped it right at the boat. A couple followers, and they just. Sink no, unfortunately, back down. with the jig, they'll just run out of room. Just run out of room. You can't really kill it like you can with the swim bait sometimes. And One bite. Oh, he's on it. Oh, yeah. Keep winding, keep winding. Oh, my God. Wind. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Prom, like you said, you're right on the rail. Evan's bait's 40 yards out. Look at that thing, he's got a big old chovy sitting down his throat. So these guys are munching. Match the hatch. A little tatty 45. Oh, there it is. Those visual signs are absolutely critical. Oh. Oh. Cast behind it, there might be falls. Just adjust it, get it Oh, there he is. Oh, Jiggies. Mr. Derek, I'd say it is time to head back to Long Beach and conclude what can once again be called an absolutely fantastic day of sport fishing out of beautiful Catalina Island. Uh, we had great fishing. We caught six yelltail on the plastic, on the jig, and on dead squid. And we had a great pick on the calcabass this afternoon, catching about 20 quality models. 
we should have a very nice crossing. We've got very light winds. We've lost all of our condition, in fact, at the island, and that's how you know it's time to go. So we'll be back at the ramp in about 45 minutes, and we'll be able to hop off the race ranger and uh, head for home. On a personal note, on behalf of myself, Will, and Max behind the camera, we'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. We are very excited to be back, bringing you footage, bringing you action from the Pacific Ocean. We are very passionate about what we do, and it's always a pleasure to share our passion with you guys. Uh, do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out Cousins Tackle on Facebook, Cousins Tackle uh, on Instagram, mm -hmm. and uh, YouTube coming soon. We're gonna have some cool content over there as well. And you can also follow myself, at Evan Salve and at SoCal Fisher on Instagram. You can follow the day-to-day -day happenings on and off the water. So until next time, cheers, guys. We'll see you on the water.